Hello my fellow Pisces, I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading, Pisces. If you are here, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. I'm actually kind of in a, a music, music-y kind of mood. Um, <laughs> so a song that came to mind before I started this reading for you was an old song. I think it's from like the 70s. It's, from, it's called Fire from the Ohio Players. Really good song, love that song. But apparently, you know, if you pay attention to the lyrics, it's a song about like really being hot for somebody, finding somebody very attractive. So this could be, you know, somebody finding you super attractive or you finding somebody else super attractive and wanting to do something about it. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's find out what this might be for you, Pisces. <clears throat> First card, we've got you. We've got the Queen of Cups, male or female. I know it's a queen, but just the name of the card. So we've got you. So you're definitely on somebody's mind here, Pisces. Okay, what else? We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Ten of Swords. Oh my, and then we have the Six of Wands. Okay, well... Somebody certainly has the hots for you, Pisces, but I say watch out for this person. <laughs> I am going to get more cards. I am going to clarify these, but what's under the Six of Wands? We have the we have the Eight of Pentacles there. So this could be somebody that you work with. It doesn't have to be, but we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of this deck. Uh, but yeah, it looks like somebody's definitely thinking about you. I don't know why this Ten of Swords here is here. You know, first impression is that this was a bad Ten of Swords, that this was bad. But now that I'm looking at it again and feeling the energy a bit more, it's like, actually, maybe this isn't bad. So maybe that's something to look out for you, for, or for something for you to look out for with this person. You think that they're trouble. You think that as soon as they walk into the room, it's like, it's like that Taylor Swift song. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Yeah, I know, I'm an amazing singer. Uh, but... <laughs> But it's kind of like that. But like once you get to know them, maybe it's like, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. Let's take a look. Let's clarify. And I did just split the deck with the Ace of Cups there. So let's take a look. And then also something that came to mind with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. It's like they come up with excuses to be near you, to be close to you, to like be around you in some way. So that's something to look out for for some of you. So... Queen of Cups, what is this about? I mean, clearly it's likely likely you, but it could, I mean, they could be a water sign themselves. Or, oh, okay, that one wanted to come out. We have the Three of Wands. Yeah, they're watching you. <laughs> they're watching you from a distance. They want to make a move. Again, trying to come up with excuses to come around you. And we do have the Empress here at the bottom. Male, you could be male or female, just Empress energy. Just somebody finds you very attractive, okay? So, what else? We have the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> I want to get one more on that. We have Death, Scorpio energy. Sorry if that's not showing up very well. Okay, so somebody is tired of not making moves. It's like, yeah, they find excuses to try to be around you in some way, but they're tired of basically watching from the sidelines like they want so much more with you they could be trying to figure out if you're open to that kind of stuff so you might be finding that they they're around you more and more and more but that's like they, it might come off a little obsessive and creepy but it's not that they're trying to be obsessive and creepy it's that they're trying to read your energy a little bit here try to figure out like are you open to like a thing with them are you open to them like flirting with you it's something like that this is really weird but for some of you they like how you smell <laughs> that came to mind uh so maybe they maybe they've complimented you on your like cologne or perfume or something like that let's look at this seven of swords I know I said, I don't think they're creepy or anything. They like how you smell. <laughs> Sorry, I need to stop. Okay, so Seven of Swords, why is this here? We have the Two of Swords. 
And we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, they, they're they trying... Inco incognito? Incognito? I can't say that word very well. It's like they, they think that they're being sneaky, but they're not really. Especially whenever you notice that they're around you more and more and more. <laughs> because I feel like whoever this is resonating for, you're gonna notice they're around more and more and more. You know, even if, like, if this is somebody that you work with, they're gonna find excuses to be around you to like help you on something or you know something like that but they think that they're being sneaky but they're not they're not really okay knight of wands why is this here we have the nine of pentacles we have the two of wands so yeah nine of pentacles they think you're very attractive it's like it's similar to to me anyway the nine of pentacles is very similar uh, energy to the empress. It's like a, a soft core empress. Um, and they, yeah, they find you very attractive. They feel like you, you are it, like you are sexy, you have it all. You know, whether you feel that way about yourself or not, which you should, they see you that way. And they are contemplating making moves here. I'm getting a very plotting and scheming two of wands here. It's like they, they keep making these moves. They keep like seeing, they keep throwing things to see what sticks right that's kind of what i'm getting with this person so ten of swords what is this about oh my deck's upside down what is this ten of swords about we have the two of pentacles and we have the four of pentacles okay i understand what this is now the ten of swords they start getting in their own head and it's like they stop making moves because it feels like you're not like into them you're not reciprocate reciprocating so whoever this is, they have a major crush on you. They're around you a lot. They f try to find excuses to be around you. But at some point in the near future, it looks like they really get in their head and they kind of self-sabotage this and they like stop making moves. So you might notice like somebody's around you like a lot and maybe you're kind of into them and you like you try to like make that interest known, but maybe it's just not translating right or something like that. And they take that to them in their perspective they think that you're not into them so they stop like trying to be around you and then on your perspective you're like well holy shit i think that's why i got that bad first impression it's like you think well damn they must not be into me they're avoiding me now but it's really because they got in their own head and they feel like you're not into them okay but they're still like silently obsessing over you they're silently like you know have their eyes on you they're they they aren't just gonna wake up one day and like find you less sexy, you know? <laughs> so let's see, is there anything else? Let's get this other deck. Is there anything else for Pisces concerning this person? I mean, this is a message for somebody apparently. So, I mean, for some reason it has to be known to someone. So why is that? You know, if they're just watching on the sidelines and it seems like they're just going to at some point just go back to withholding and like trying to almost avoiding you. So like, why? Like, why does Pisces need to be aware of this? We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have that Two of Wands again. So it's like... This has the potential to be like a very nice connection and has the potential to like possibly change your path a little bit. I mean, a whole new relationship can change your path. Um, and it looks like it could be very emotionally satisfying. It's just that there's this wall. And I think the reason why you're, I, you, somebody here needs a bit of a heads up is because you know, be aware of somebody who's just kind of lingering in your energy because there is a chance that this could be a nice connection, an emotionally fulfilling connection, a passionate connection, a soulmate connection. But that, again, remember the first impressions thing that I said is just like a weird first impression, but like, don't let that stop you. I mean, obviously, if you're getting like red flag vibes, don't like step away, you know, that's okay. <laughs> but there is like a, a I want to say pretty intense connection here. It's just that they're kind of feeling it first. Or, I mean, you can flip the roles. It could be you feeling it first. But there is this kind of avoidance here. Because one or the other or both feel like the other is into them. <laughs> 
So they're just kind of like getting their head and they stop trying. At least for a little while. I keep hearing like for a little while. It's like there's some kind of break, but then they're like, you know what? I I can't stop thinking about Pisces. I need to like try and, and find ways to be around them again. So there, I do feel like it could come back around. That could be why this two of pentacles is here. Cause you know how it's like this, you know, loop, this infinity kind of symbol. I don't know how well you could see it on that card, but it does look like it's going to come back around after a period of them kind of hiding in their shell, thinking that they fucked everything up, thinking that you're not into them. So what else? How does Pisces feel about them, first of all? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so again, that feeling of this could potentially change your path. It could start a new cycle for you. So I think you're into them. I think you're into them more, like way more than they realize. They're just not reading the room very well. It's like, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're just kind of socially awkward, but it's like they're not reading the room very well. So I think whenever you notice this person just kind of being in your energy more and more, you know, maybe, you know, try and start a conversation with them, try and get something rolling because for some reason they're having a really hard time telling if you're into them or not. Because I feel like for whoever this is resonating with, I think you are into this person, at least most of you. You know, maybe some of you are like, oh, no, I hate that creep. No. <laughs> but for most of you, I feel like you, you feel something, like you feel some kind of potential with this person. We have the chariot, cancer energy. Again, that, that uh, theme of a, a new path. So we have these two different colored sphinxes, I think they are. Uh, each one resembles an, a different path you could take. Which path do you want to turn your chariot? So there is a chance that this person, this could be a deep connection. The Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot card aren't going to just show up, you know, for no big deal. This is somebody that you could have possibly a long-term relationship with. It's just you have to get over this little obstacle of something not connecting here there's some kind of disconnect I, again this person could just be socially awkward you could be not like realizing the hints that they're throwing out there so that's something to look out for what else we have the empress coming up okay again because we have the empress there so yeah they're coming in they're coming in for you i think they're gonna make a move but it's just weird because their moves are like <sighs> something again there's just something not translating okay something there's that kind of weird disconnect it's like you i think you're both you're both into each other i feel like they're more into you than you are with them at this point but it's just their way of going about it again that kind of sneaking around you know kind of like beating around the bush a little bit right they're not going up to you and like being straightforward like hey i'm really into you no they're like finding ways to be around you you know so yeah, there is going to be a move being made here. But I think somebody here just needs a heads up that they're into you, okay? So watch out for these little subtle signs and maybe like give them hints like, hey, this is okay. <laughs> we can talk. You know, I think that's advice for somebody here. Because there is a potential that this could take you down a, a new path, a long term kind of thing. So. And then we have the world. You know what? I'm just going to end it there because we're ending with four major arcanas. This is big. This could be the start of a new cycle. It's just, again, that disconnect. Somebody here needs to realize that this other person's hints are kind of su subtle, okay? But you will know that they're around you more and more. And that's not by coincidence. They're doing that on purpose. So for somebody here... This has a lot of potential, I'm not going to lie. This person's really into you. Again, I think they're more into you than you are with them right now, but that's about to change. I do see this taking you down a different path, opening up a new chapter for your life. And I, I think it's going to be a very pleasant connection with this Nine of Cups. I think you're going to be surprised. And again, don't judge a book by its cover. They might give a bad first impression, and it might be because of that weird disconnect that I was telling you about. So... Yeah, that is your reading today, Pisces. If that resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some bananas in the comments, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.